go back, the three brothers, of course, are star everywhere they go. International superstars who have sold more than eight million albums. The worldwide. girls are crying already, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. The new CD, Lines, Vines, and Trying Times, in the stores right now. Please welcome the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> So it's Hello. Nick and Joe and Kevin, and welcome back to the show. Thank Good to you. have you. Glad to be back. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Love it here. Um, Hello. I've got to tell you that when you're here, it causes quite oh. a stir. Certainly in my house, as you know. Same thing when you guys come to our house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we read the quote about dancing to our music. Thank you very much. Oh, that's much. right. Yes. No, we are we are consumers of your product. What you're selling, <laughs> the Consuelos are buying, right, Lola? <laughs> She's mortified right now. She'll never talk to me again. So you guys are in the middle of a world tour right now, yes. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what are some of the places you've been? Um, started off in Texas, which is a lot of fun for us. But mm -hmm. Texas sure. Stadium, mm -hmm. um, kind of a dream come true. We always drove by and said one day we'll play there. And, um, it's just been amazing so far being able to play these new songs and yeah. you know, see the fan reactions. And to fill up a time. stadium like that must be a great uh, awesome. sense of satisfaction. It's the biggest right? TV in the world. It's no, it, yeah, Jerry, right. Jerry Jones made this thing, and it's it's unbelievable. Sure. It's like 90 feet by how it's just unbelievable. You it's gotta ridiculous. go check it out. Are you amazed at the reaction? Because when when I went to your concert on Long Island last year, and when I saw the movie, it was so it it, it felt so true to how it actually was. The energy of your fans uh, is something that's kind of powerful, wouldn't you say? Definitely, it's definitely fun to be on stage with all those fans that are going crazy because yeah. that's what gets you hyped for the concert because when you're backstage trying to warm yourself up and get excited it's not like when you just walk on that stage and you see all the fans and how awesome they are but you know you, you're on stage practically all the time is yeah. there ever one day where one of you wakes up and says I don't feel like it <laughs> <laughs> yeah there, there aren't moments like that I think it goes back to the fans really at the end of the day and the fact that you know They're we realize we realize what it's like to not have people at a show and there was a time when There'd be five, ten people in the audience, and, and once you once you're there, you know you're grateful for what you have. I don't know if you've ever seen one of their concerts, but they're very physical. Like they play every instrument on the stage, they sing beautifully, and you're like acrobats. Is there something you can't do? Is there something that you're not good at? We're working on flying. Flying. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. no. Cooking. 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 That'd be good. We we try to you know entertain. I think um, <laughs> with the, the acrobats and stuff. It's it's uh started off as kind of a joke at first with Joe and I. Like we had a lot of room to cover on this stage and let's see what we can do. And we started watching like videos of, of guys, you know, doing flips off things and started to figure it out and have fun with it. Wait, you actually do flips? We, on do, stage? we, we do like we flips, yeah. It's they flip. They flip. Like they're like acrobats. We too. were rehearsing yeah. like me and Nick were in our hotel room practicing in, in in London months ago mm -hmm. and we actually broke the floorboards because we were flipping <laughs> I was flipping Nick in the hotel room at like three in the morning because we were so jet lagged we couldn't fall asleep. So if you go back to the so we kinda moved the coffee table over top of it and, and just left. So you became <laughs> rocks <laughs> You became rock stars who at three in the morning break <laughs> furniture exactly. in your hotel room. <laughs> More like <laughs> Who's the best dancer among the three of you? Ooh. Oh <laughs> that's a rough question. Oh. It depends. Yeah. Um, we, we try to take the more comical route when it comes to dance. Um, none of us are really that gifted in that area, but Joe occasionally busts a couple of moves out. Definitely. Frankie yeah, so loves to dance. Are you oh, yeah? Yeah, Frankie, loves where is Frankie to today? Frankie is in Texas right now. Mm. He's hanging out with Elvis, you know, the dog, my mom, and all down there. So. <laughs> of course. Well, anyway, I understand you do a spoof of Beyonce's. Uh, yeah, Joe does a singular. Beyonce spoof, right? Yeah, yeah I did. What, what, what are we here? Did Joe, you wear the on. tights and everything? Um, yeah, I did. It's, it's, you I think wear the we clip? Have, yeah, oh, the, we're going to play the clip. Let's take a look at it. That's uh, that's almost a little too close to the uh, truth. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> the best part Did is he's pointing the wrong hand the whole time. He actually. He's pointing the wrong he's hand. Going the right hand the yeah. entire time. Because um, he's watching a TV that she was. She was. We were watching the video while he was filming it, and people that were in the room 
We were laughing. Uh, <laughs> we actually made him kept like, you should just do it one more time, you know. For, uh, but he, he was watching us, it was like a mirror, so he kept raising his right hand instead of his left. <laughs> and his left. <laughs> the most awkward thing was we filmed that at our, uh, where we were shooting our television show. Mm -hmm. So after I filmed it, you know, I, we did this for the fans, we made like a contest that I would do it if they did something, so, we, so I dressed like that. and. That people that were in that room knew what was going on, but once I walked out of the room in high heels and a leotard, <laughs> and I like went to catering in that, and like, what's going on here? It's a Disney show. Well, your fans love you. You know that. We, uh, what are some of the weird gifts that uh, they have given you over the years? I just signed a um, uh, inhaler. Yeah, that was inhaler. <laughs> I signed a rock last night. A I rock. Did you a rock. Yeah. I think they're trying to think of crazy things. Yeah. That way, like, they'll we'll be talk, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Right. What's but the craziest thing you've ever been received or? Somebody gave me a hippo once. Same with us. <laughs> Same with us. You're kidding me. No. That's no, I'm kidding you. I don't. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> I like, <laughs> did I get you? Did I get you, big <laughs> man? Uh, no. We heard that. I thought that's what they were going to tell me, but we heard before the show that, that one of the fans actually gave the boys a hippo. Yeah. I mean, a real hippo. There's a hippo named, named, Jonas Brothers. named the Jonas Brothers at some zoo somewhere. So it's like, it. it's no, like it over there, we have the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you do with that hippo? We have, a, we have a little plaque in our house with the picture of the hippo, right. and it says, you know, it was like an animal, like um, wildlife, you know, or whatever, and so, like, they have the name of the... Hippos, us. Do but you where, think where like is he now? I think he's in. I don't know. I don't do you know. think the other hippos think that that hippo is being boastful when they're like, "What's your name?" And he's like, "I'm the Jonas Brothers." <laughs> <laughs> sure you like, are. Like, Get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the zoo. We're gonna take a break. We'll come right back with the Jonas Brothers. <laughs>